Hello my nudes, how's it going? Hope you're having a fun time. So, Season 5 of Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 2022 or 2's has dropped. I thought we'd hop on in and take a look and see what excitement awaits us. I'm sure it's bound to be fitting. <laughs> Who am I kidding? Anyway, that being said, let's get on with it. Okay, so we have now Havoc, eliminate the enemy while experience changing gameplay modifiers throughout the match Into Mar 24-7 Strike 24-7 Right, we'll try this Havoc first. Havoc! Target's in the area, weapons free! Trezor, we have no rules Oh! I was too busy reading what the modifier was and not looking at who was going to kill me. Advanced to IV already was active. Ooh. Stressor one, prepare for new mod. Yay! Boing! 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 <laughs> God damn! Oh! Packet bursts. Nice to see the fix that. Three kills for a random kill straight. Crossbows only. Oh, we multiple bolts. Everyone. Oh, not a third person, no! No. Well, it's nice to see that this game is as unbuggy and as well coded as previous versions of the game. Activision, what the f are you doing? 3,000 developers, 3 billion years of development, and we get an absolute part of <laughs> I was having quite a good time until that point. Okay, so that was 
the new game mode Havoc. That was quite fun. Quite enjoyed that. Low gravity jumping is hilarious. That maybe there's a technique to it, but kind of all over the shop. And it seems random as to whether you can grab hold of stuff or not. Things that you think you should be able to jump on top of, you can't. Other things that you think you should be able to jump on top of, you can. I don't know if that's intentional or not. So yeah, I enjoyed that. That's a good addition. It would be hilarious on a map-like shipment though, wouldn't it? Jumping on top of um, containers and things. So now we'll take a look at the new map, which is Punta Mar. Let's hop on into a game. Team Deathmatch. Strether 1, you are clear to engage. Oh, I realised how rude that was, I'll just then shut that door. I'm too used to just trying to do long shots and uh, not actually running around and playing.
No. Oh my god, I deserve that. When am I going to be able to throw a grenade properly? Crikey. remaining. Right, so what did we think of the new Kunta map? Oh, I quite liked it. It's very confusing as to where you are and where things are. But I think if I play it more, I'll get used to where the different points of interest are. I like the fact that it's on so many levels and that you have ladders and everywhere and roofs that you can climb. And I like that you have stairs going up to not only different buildings but different parts of the town as well. So all in all, quite impressed. Decent addition, I think. Okay, now we're gonna try strike 
Eyes on this area. Enemy personnel at the hard point. Ah. Our UAV is orbiting the area. Hard point relocated. Stand by. Shut up, shut up. Die. That's all I do. That's nice. Turn off text chat because that's I don't have people swearing via text. Is me? Our UAV is orbiting the area. Shit, I'm getting lit up. Flash grenade. Thank you. 
That was a bit rude. I was just going to have a lie down then. what are our thoughts on strike 24 7 i quite enjoyed that map i liked the fact it was quite cluttered that there were cars and stalls and debris strewn around everywhere i like the fact that it's not like a straight down three lane setup that there are it's here and there like a wall or a, as i said like a car that break things up a bit um it would be nicer if you could go up three levels like a rooftop I couldn't find a roof that you could get on. I mean, I only, I only ran around very quickly. But yeah, I quite enjoyed that. I think it would be better in a 10v10 match. Because it is quite large and it is difficult to find people. But yeah, I, I did enjoy that. So, let's move on to the next game mode. Okay, gunfight. I don't know if this is a new map or not. It was Penthouse, so we'll see. Okay, new map. I thought this was the gunfight where you got different guns rather than picking a loadout. Is that okay? This is not what I thought it was going to be. That's not quite the same though, is it?
Oh, I thought... I just saw green and assumed that was my teammate and it was the green lasers. Whoops. Oh, how did I not get you? Okay, thoughts on Gunfight Custom. I like the map. It's got a nice flow to it. There are some places that you can hide out, sneak up behind people, do a bit of um, snipey snipey. The format, however, I don't know. When I went into it, I thought it was going to be like the previous Gunfight where you just get a random loadout. So in this version, you choose your own loadout. However, it's modified slightly, and I'm not sure if that's fair or not. Kind of doesn't make sense in the way that my brain thinks gunfight should work. But it's a nice map, I do enjoy it. However, not sure about the game mode. And there's one more game mode that we're going to play, which I'm looking forward to. And that game mode is... Big Capture the Flag. Team size 40. Capture the flag, defend your flag while fighting through the massive battle to capture the enemy's flag and claim victory. Love me a large map. So, let's hop on into the lobby. And hope that it doesn't disappoint me.
We have the enemy flag. Set security. My squad. So you got five years to get that by now, isn't it?
gun.
What did I think of Big Map Capture the Flag? I'm actually a bit disappointed. Um, it was far too ground war y for me. If I wanted to play ground war, I'd play ground war. I thought it would be more like domination, but I was mistaken. I was, yeah, I'm actually disappointed with that one, which is a shame because I was looking forward to playing it with it being like 40 v 40. Final thoughts, Havoc is fun, I really enjoy the low gravity mode, the new map, Quintum Mar, quite like that, um, it looks fabulous, I love the fact that there are different heights that you can go up and down on, and places to cut through, and little alleys, and lots, lots to explore, very disappointed with Big Capture the Flag, probably won't be playing that, um, but I'm happy to see that the lockdown Odds is still present in Warzone. I'll be playing that a bit because I did quite enjoy that that mode. Um, I prefer that over the Plunder Quads. So on a scale of 1 to 10, what are we going to give Season 5? Actually, I will give it a 5. Uh, it's not worth any more than that because we've got one new map, one new game mode and essentially a reworking of Ground War slash Invasion into the big capture the flag and that, that, it was boring. What do you think? Have you played any Season 5 yet? Will you be playing Season 5? Have you given up on Call of Duty altogether? Because I'm kind of losing my rag with it. So let me know in the comments below if you'll be playing Season 5. Or have you given up with Call of Duty altogether? The problem is I'm playing some of the old games and I'm quite enjoying those. And then to come to something like this, it's just not as fun. So maybe I'm just jaded. Comment below. Let me know if you're playing it, not playing it. Whether you'll get the battle pass. You're one of those people that have got back sell. So... Don't ask why, let me know. 
Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Until next time, my noobs. Have a good one.